Hello everyone. Welcome back to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in dynamic CRM. Today I'm going to demonstrate you how to set up action in dynamic CRM and also we'll be going to see how to invoke that action by using a workflow based on a certain criteria in dynamic CRM. So first, let's see how to set up an action. So in order to set up an action, first of all, we need to go to settings. And in settings, we need to start a new process. So I click on new to start a new process. And the process name I assign as an approval process category will be an action and entity will be an opportunity so this action will be performed or an action will be performed on an approval process will be sent to the manager to the sales manager if the estimated revenue of an opportunity is greater than 15,000 then the approval is necessary so for this I'm creating an action so click on OK and then we need to customize the action. So there are various steps we need which we need to perform with an action here. So the steps here on which we need to work is we need to click on this and we need to add one hide process arguments and these arguments will be going to invoke in our workflow. So I'll give a name to this argument as a special notes type will be string type. It is not required as optional and it will be an input. So we are going to give an input to this argument. Then I scroll down and I'm going to set an action for this and the action will be going uh, it will be going to send an email so click on add step and send email Send email for approval. Click on set properties and it will send an email. So, so we need to set an email template for the same. So from whom we are going to send this email. So this email will be sent from owner and also it will be marked a CC to the Subject assign, please approve the fol following opportunity. And I write here, please review the following opportunity and approve or provide feedback on same as needed. Hyperlink name and here I add the opportunity to approve opportunity to approve slash name what's the value for the opportunity and this will be 
record URL dynamics. That's the record URL dynamics opportunity slash value slash hyperlink. Thanks. Yes. And save and close. So once it is set, the action is set. So a simple activate it because if it is in by default it will be in draft mode so we need to activate it otherwise we would not be able to access this action so invoke this action from our workflow so i have activated it and then i close it now the next step is to create a workflow so there is already one workflow so I'll delete it and then I'll create again so it is activated so first of all let me deactivate it right so that pro workflow has been removed now let's create a new workflow again because from this workflow we'll be going to invoke that action so I create a new workflow and this workflow will be executed whenever the estimated revenue of an opportunity is greater than 15,000 or 20,000. So let's say opportunity greater than 15,000. This will be a workflow entity opportunity opportunity and OK. And here I want that whenever we execute this workflow, whenever this workflow execute, it should perform an action. So we have perform action and type a description. Invoke action if opportunity is greater than 15,000. Action, approval process action. Set properties so I'm doing some little modification into it instead of invoking this action directly I just want to invoke this action based on a certain condition so I apply a condition here that if the check opportunity estimated revenue and I apply a condition that if the opportunity estimated revenue is 15,000, then only it will perform that action or invoke that action. So I write opportunity estimated revenue is greater than 15,000. So I would like to perform an action and And approval process set property set process we need to perform some more actions into it and as you can see here this process is looking for a value so the value will be here I set it will be looking for account account and account And this will be opportunity save and close so the action has been set and now we simple save it and activate it so this workflow will ex be executed if the opportunity estimated revenue is 15,000 and if it is 15,000 it will invoke the action which we have defined activate close and now let's test it so for this click on sales just make sure that the both the processes must be in activated 
status the status of both the process will be activated approval process and that's the action and opportunity greater than 15,000 now I click on opportunities and let's create a new opportunity here. so click on new And let's create a new opportunity by team and the estimated revenue I set here is 20,000 and let's save it and as you can see here I have received a message please review the following opportunity and approve or provide feedback on the same as needed and that's the link and when we click on this it will take us to the opportunity which we have created just now so that's how we can perform an action by using a workflow this is how to create an action and how to perform an action or invoke an action by using a workflow that's all in this video if you have any queries you can get back to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on dynamic crm you can contact to us for customized training as well till then have a nice day goodbye